example 20. And uh, these are the bus fares of three different bus routes, A, B, C, and these are the corresponding percentage of passengers. And now the bus fare changes. These are the new fares. And now the spokesman of the bus company claims that the mean fare of the free bus is reduced from $12 to $10.8. $12 dropped to $10.8. So this is uh, actually a $1.2 drop. So he come up with the answer of the company will suffer from a loss of 10% in income. But uh, is, is this true? Yeah. We have to find out with calculation step, uh, steps how the bus company obtains the values of $12 and $10.8. Then we follow the wording of the problem. We find the OB of the data, 8.4 plus 12.2 plus 15.4. And then we divide this by 3. And by using our calculator, this is $12. So this is the old mean. And therefore, the new mean can be found in this way. 4.5 plus 9.4 plus 18.5. And then divide this by 3, we have 10.8. But the problem is that, is this way of calculating the mean a good way to show the difference? Is this a good way to represent the average of the bus fares. So this is what the part B asks. Do you agree with the claim of the bus company's spokesman? Why? And actually, we should not agree because we have to take account into the percentage of passengers since the number of passengers in this initial route is not the same. So we simply divide it by the bus fare by three is not a good way to represent the average. We have to multiply the percentage of the passenger, uh, passengers with the fare, multiply, and then add up together to find the weighted mean of the bus fares. So we have to, we should not agree. Why? Because uh, the weighted mean should be used. And uh, we have to take account into the percentage of passengers.